Hey everyone, welcome back to Crash Landing, episode 20. Since the last episode, I went ahead and moved my pneumatic craft setup and uh, kind of uh, reworked it a little bit. As you guys can see, I got my uh, pressure gauge tube here sending out a redstone signal all the way over to this repeater that's uh, turning on and off this redstone energy cell. So I got it on a low redstone control right now, which sends power to our kinetic compressor, keeping this at a nice four bars of pressure at all times, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now, there are a few other things I need to go ahead and finish working on, which is item ducts, pulling things out. Uh, I went ahead and put a hopper here uh, for now. I didn't figure it would hurt. Uh, but yeah, this thing's working pretty good, and this should pretty much stay there so that if we ever want, like, you know, the unassembled PCBs, I uh, won't have to worry about flipping this thing on or off. So this pretty much is, um, like, as far as pressure is concerned, uh, a little automated. So that's good. Now, as far as items are concerned, I still need to work on automation of that a little bit. But last episode, we were working on thermal melting, uh, which we went ahead and melted down a bucket's worth of destabilized redstone, energized glowstone, liquefactor coal, blazing pyrothium, and the gelid cryothium. Uh, notice that we got a nice little reward here, which we can actually pick one. We can either have the resonant energy cell or the two tesseract frames, which, actually, let's go ahead and take a look. These, yeah. I might go ahead and go with the two tesseract frames, because I'm kind of wanting that a little bit more. Um... Let's see what the resonant energy cell requires. See, I, I could actually kind of make that a little easier, just because I do already have a redstone energy cell. It just needs uh, four enderium ingots. So I think we're going to go with the tesseract frames for now. Plus, I really want to transport my power from down there up here, uh, you know, to like our pneumatic craft setup and our thermal expansion machines that we're going to have up here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put my ender generator down. I'm going to pop in some Eyes of Ender to go ahead and let this thing start building up some power to power these guys. So i got Magma Crucible going to the Fluid Transposer, the Pulverizer, which will probably go into the Induction Smelter, and we already got a Glacial Precipitator there as well. Alright, so the next part of this quest needs me to make an Enderium Ingot and a Flux Electrum Ingot. So I don't think I've made either of those yet, but... I know we got some of the Flux uh, Electrum Blend from a quest, so we should be able to go ahead and make this. Uh, a little bit of Pyrothium. And a nap through the night. Should be good. Right, let's grab two of those, two of those, two redstone, and... What was the other thing? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it it's Sulfur, right? Do I have Sulfur? No, I don't have sulfur. Well, drat. That means I gotta get some. <laughs> Alright. Uh, probably one of the ways that I've been getting it is through coal, but... Is there an easier way of getting it? Sulfur. Netherrack's one way. Could use blaze rods, but I don't have any, which stinks. And I could do that way, but, yeah. Also sift some sand. I wonder actually, do we have any in here? Ah, hello. We do have one sitting in there. Cause I did have sand running through there at one point, so. You know what? That might actually be enough. We'll see. Alright, so I need to actually yeah, I need power. <laughs> I need I need conduits. Alright. What do we got? Five leadstone energy conduits. You know what that might just have to do. So we'll do that, that. And we don't really need that anyway. <laughs> we don't really need that right now. Alright, induction smelter. So if I put you in there with that, that should start working. Is that right? Yeah, two flux electron blend and two pyrothium will give us that. Yeah, I just needed enough power. Alright, so that's going to slowly start working on that force. Now next we also need an enderium ingot. Now mind you guys this is all for the quest to applied energistics. I was unaware that this would be such a little hassle but yeah. That's alright we will get there. So enderium blend. Alright good it's nice to see that that hasn't really changed. Uh, we got pulverized shiny metal that's not a problem. I can get some pulverized tin. No issue there. Hey 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 let me down. Thank you. 
and ender pearls. I feel pretty good about. We're getting a decent amount of those in, so I'm I'm cool with using some of that. All right, redstone. I'm happy to see that. All right, what else did I need? I needed. Where's my? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. There's my platinum ore sand. You go there. I guess we'll go ahead and hammer this down. Should be able to pop this in here. This is going to triple, right? I hope that triples. It should, since it's a dust. I'm hoping. Oh! We already got some uh, shiny ingots right there, too. So, that's awesome. But that should triple for us. Let's make sure. Come on. Come on. Are you done? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, we're just taking some time. All right, so there's two, and should be up to nine. I just, yeah, there we go. Just want to make sure we get the most out of it. All right, and then a quick little pulverizer for these guys. Let's actually go ahead and do that. We don't really want that going anywhere. And then we're also going to need some tin. I'm going to grab six pieces of tin. Bloop and doop. There you go. Fluid transposer. Let's go ahead and get our magma crucible going with that. Our liquid um, ender. Liquefied ender. There's a couple different names. So there we go. Four flux electrum ingots. Which is alright. You know, I'm probably going to need a few of them anyway. Uh, later, so there's one. So I guess I gotta turn that in. Okay. All right, that's fine. No big deal. All right, so we should be able to get a bucket out of that. Let's go ahead and send that over to our fluid transposer and put a bucket in here. So that should start oh, quickly fill up our bucket for us, and we should, we might be able to get this quest done here in just a second. Yeah, there we go. Four Enderium Blend. And I think I need another Blazing Pyrothium. Alright, Pulverizer. I need you again, buddy. Please give me some more Sulfur. I really, really kind of need that right now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let that... uh Actually, new. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I was going to say, I already got another set of Enderium ready to go. So might as well do it. We got plenty of ender pearls. I got three stacks sitting out there in the barrels by the mob farm, so I'm happy. Nice, there we go. Alright, we should have everything on us to go ahead and make another blazing pyrothium. Or pyrothium dust, I'm sorry. Um, and then that, and that. That should get us our enderium ingots, I hope. Yeah, so this is doing good. I'm actually happy about that. That's doing fine. There we go. Two enderium ingots. Let's turn though or turn one of those in and oh good there wasn't nothing else <laughs> it wasn't gonna like throw me for another loop that's awesome so we're gonna get a um, machine frame out of that and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick a tesseract frame because I went ahead and looked at that just a minute ago and to make that we need the enderium hardened glass which I do have a little bit and uh, this is actually a LX 300 logic expansion card, which we need three electrum ingots and, you know, all that other stuff. So I would much rather have two tesseract frames at the moment. All right, let's pull that out. Let's pull you out and you. All right, things are looking great. All right, let's actually head out to the mob farm real quick. I want to pick up some more ender pearls. I'm going to go ahead and grab a stack of them. See, all this is running really nicely out here. It's doing good. Plus, we got 27 stacks of sand. I like that. This is doing great. And we're getting... We just actually started filling up our barrel finally full of logs. So that way we got an excess amount of coal or charcoal being produced. We got five stacks of in here ready to go into the furnace to keep this thing going. So things are doing good. Things are doing good, see? Let's grab a stack of those. How's this doing? Whoa, this is getting kind of full. Hmm... I might need to get one for spider eyes, and 
I'm just going to go ahead and... Nope, not you, because you are enchanted. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of all the leather armor. That's not enchanted. There we go. And you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of the torches, because there's a lot of them. I know I said I wouldn't, but there's quite a few of them in there, so... Yeah. And look at that. We actually get a little bit of gold. It's nice. So what is this? Whip of Destruction. Sharpness 1, Unbreaking 10. Alright, that's kind of cool. Alright, I'm also going to go ahead and put that in there. So I should pull out those iron swords. Good. Alright, that should be good for a little bit. Now, what did I actually... Okay, I got it. I was going to say, I'm making sure I'm getting what I came out here for. Alright, so that's good. So we got an excess amount of gunpowder in there, and the transfer node going into our reactant dynamo. And any excess now, we'll start coming out to these and making sure these are filled up. So all this should be good. This is getting an excess amount of power. I'm guessing. Yeah, good. Alright, so that one's drained. And those... One of them's full, and the other one's doing alright. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Alright, so I want to get this tesseract up and running. That's Pretty much what I want to get done real quick. Kind of my goal at the moment. Because I want to get power up here without having to worry about running a line. So, and this, this is work, this is going to work okay and stuff, but, yeah. Much rather would have the, um, Tesseract up here powering these machines. Alright, so this is going to need bronze and silver. Alright, let's go grab that. Bronze and silver, I should have that made up already. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Where are you? Yep, there we go. Let's grab eight of those. And I said silver. Let's go ahead and refill our camel pack while we're down here. Do, 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 do. Thank you. You are the best. Nice. All right, so how are we looking here? All right, good. We got two of those. Let's go ahead and fill up these guys. And while that's filling up, let's take a look at our other quests. So we got that, that. I'll probably work on some of these next. I don't know if there's anything else. I'm still wondering what's going on there. I don't even know if they're, what the item is called that I'm looking for. Um, a lot of you guys said that uh, that's something that was just like an item drop on the ground. And that I needed to pick up. But uh, probably despawned. So, yeah. And I don't really know how... You know, someone also mentioned that, you know, maybe sift the, the dust in the area. The dust in that area doesn't really have, like, a different metadata, so I don't know if that would, you know, have anything um, in it. So I don't know. All right, there we go. Two Tesseracts. Awesome. So, yeah, still wondering about this, because we still got, what is that, 22%? to complete in basic survival. And we still got a little bit left to do in under pressure. I don't know if that's going to keep it from 100% or not. Uh, and then we also got to do creating life. So we still got a few quests to work on. Let's go ahead and put the enderpearls away. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night before anything bad pops up. Ah, there we go. Nice and refreshed. All right, let's get these tesseracts up and running. So what I think we're going to do is because this right here, this transfer node, is pretty much... Oops, I did not mean to do that. Sorry about that, friend. Uh, it's pretty much already holding 32,000 RF, so it's not great, but it's it should do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Tesseract right there. We're going to disconnect these because we don't want the gunpowder going in the Tesseract. And let's go ahead and set this up. So we want this to send energy and receive nothing. Oops. There we go. Sending energy. All right. So we'll set this on frequency one and we'll just call this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just call it mob farm power. That'll be fine. All right, save frequency, and we'll check it. There we go. So that's set up there. So that's going to be sending power that it's getting from the transfer node there. And it should still power everything out here, so that's good. So let's bring this upstairs. I also want to get some 
better energy conduits up and running because these are only going to limit to ADRF per tick. So we definitely want to upgrade these. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put this at? I'm thinking I just want to keep it all level. I don't really want to break that right now. All right, well, we can move the Tesseract. So let's put them right there for now. And we're going to set this to... Turn those two off. So we want this to receive energy. Turn that on. So now... Say, for instance, we did that. Everything else has power, though. But this, as well, is going to be getting power now. So that's good. Awesome. So we got power coming in. And we're set up there. Perfect. Now. Hmm. It's all about possibly trying to get it to run over to this guy now. And I could get this guy upgraded to a resonant energy cell. That might be kind of cool. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at conduits first. Alright, so the way I kind of see it is that, you know, the leadstone energy conduits take six pieces of redstone to make. You get six uh, conduits. If you want to upgrade those and take those to the hardened, you still need three more redstone to do that. So that's like nine redstone to get, you know, hardened. Uh, with that, I would rather do this way. And just go ahead and skip all that. Just go straight to the end and get the redstone energy conduits. That way we're not really wasting redstone um, and just, like, not using those. So I think this will be better. That's kind of why I was waiting. All right, so hardened glass, electrum. We should have all of that, actually. we got the hardened glass right there. We should have the electrum in here. So let's go ahead and grab, like, eight of these. I'm just going to go ahead and get these made up. There we go, 24, so I should need, what is that, 48 pieces of redstone? Which we got more than enough. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and pop those in our crucible. Let's get that going. Nice, perfect. Alright, and then as soon as we get enough, which, there we go, I'm going to take these... And I'm going to replace them. There we go. So we got redstone energy conduits. This should stay pretty full. Except for this. This thing like takes a ton of RF, as you can see. So it's uh, maximum power is 400 RF. And I don't know if we're actually producing that much over there. So it's going to go fairly quick, I think. But I'm going to let that run. Let that finish making that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do next for applied energistics which we need our ME controller and the ME drive. So for those two, we do need the advanced processor. Actually, no, we need the advanced processor for the uh, controller. Yeah. So yeah, so there we go. So we're going to need oof, three electrum. Oh, good, we got those. Nice. So we need three of those, three plastic sheets, Expansion card. Oh, all right. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's get started on that then. All right, so this is nice. It's nice having this all set up up here. This is really good. Cool. Um, whoa, hello. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> and I'm just going to uh, kind of flip that off for now. And actually, you know what? Let's pick you up. That way we don't waste this. You know, just, you know, I'll just do this. Is that going to go in? Nope, that's still draining. Set that to blue. There we go. Now we got power coming in. So we got that disconnected. I'm going to have it drain out of this. That way I don't waste my interpearls I had in there. Um, I might even upgrade that to... I do have everything, I, I think. I just need to grab some more... Uh, blaze powder and I have a feeling we're going to be using a fair amount of uh, pyrothium so probably a good thing to have a little bit of extra of that at all times alright so let's go ahead and pump that in there that'll go ahead and make us more enderium which we can upgrade that energy cell and then let's go ahead and take a look at our controller again so make sure three of those two of those two printed circuit boards three 
plastic sheets. We got the three of those. We should have the two of those. And expansion card. I don't have an extra one. So I'll just grab that. Four more of those. And I think that might be everything. So you... Drat. Didn't want to go in there. Please tell me I did that right. I didn't, did I? Goes like this. There we go. So that's our, I think that's our first LX300 Logic expansion card. And then we just need some silicon. And, ah, come on. Those expansion cards, they do not like any eye. Advanced processor, nice. All right, so we need Fluix crystals, nether quartz, surges quartz, and redstone. Oh, and redstone sitting in there. I don't need that hiding from me. All right, and I'm just going to make four of them because I don't want to make too many and waste resources right now. And iron. So there's our Emmy controller. And then lastly, we just need the Emmy drive. All right, we just need two basic processors, a chest, which we've got that. Need some glass. And then we're going to need four more of those. And I should have these... I shouldn't have those uh, expansion cards. Or actually, everything I need to make the expansion cards. Okay, there's that. And unfortunately, does not like the shift click, so I will do it by hand. Two of you. And Emmy Drive. Nice. So now, we can pick... I'm going to pick the 4K storage drive, because I want to start putting stuff into our system. Um, we can use that later for fluids. I definitely want to get like a fluid drive set up for like water and stuff. But now, we got an advanced processor from that. And does this open anything else up for us? Not at the moment, but we do have AE ready to set up. So, where do I want to put it? That's the question. I was thinking down here, kind of like right there, because this isn't like even, or uh, this isn't odd. It's even. And, like, I could set something up, like, right there. And then that way I can leave this, like, being sent into the system and then I could have it like run outside upstairs and around if anything yeah I think we'll put it right here I think that's what I'm gonna do so I really need to start moving these chests out of the way so I got a dolly we're just gonna put these guys out of the way just right over here so we can start setting up applied energistics. And obviously, we're also going to go ahead and uh, empty out those chests as well. So we're not quite done. We do need a few more things to get us set up, obviously. Uh, we need a terminal. So let's go ahead and put that there. And I know I got another drive. Where did my other drive go? Where is it at? Did I get that mixed up? No, I don't think I did. Alright, sun's going down. I, where's my 1k storage drive? Because I still got my Emmy chest on me. Where is the 1k? Did I put it down somewhere? I'm going crazy here. It's not, it's not in there. Where's my 1k storage drive? I need that thing. I got a 4k in there. Am I? Is it in my backpack? That thing is gone. Oh, it's right there. Get. I am such a derp today. I am not even kidding you. All right, we need a crafting terminal. So let's go ahead and get this set up for us. So we got the Emmy crafting terminal. All right, we want the 
Pretty sure that's what we want. So we need to make an access terminal as well. So we need a conversion matrix. Thankfully, this is still just flux dust and glass. I am happy to see that. All right, flux dust. Let's grab our glass. I'm going to make up a whole bunch of those cables real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's make up that many for now. I want to leave a little bit of flux dust just in case I need it. All right, so to get this, we're going to need a conversion matrix, which is going to be a little bit of a pain because we need another expansion card. And that's my last printed circuit board. And that's going to be a pain. So I do need another printed circuit board. So that means I need to go make some more transistors and uh, capacitors for my unassembled PCBs. All right. Where's my plastic at? There it is. So I'm going to try to get the access terminal up and running at least. So there's that. And then we need nether quartz and certus quartz. Do I have that? I think I do. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I got ahead of myself. I need to do the silicon first. Then that, and there we go. So there's my processor. Now I should be able to craft you. And then I should be able to get the access terminal. Nice. And for now, let's go ahead and pop that right there. And as far as like power, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run this energy line over this way. I'm probably just going to do it above ground for now. Until we get more resources in later. Should be good, and we should have some energy pipes in here. Ugh, let me in. Let's see, those spiders kind of mess with me a little bit because I know some of them can actually get out. I think they're like invisible or something. All right, and there we go. So we should have power coming in. Nice, we got power. Sweet. We can start putting things in our network. Awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick, guys, I'm going to go make another uh, set of capacitors and transistors. And when I finish that, I will be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I got three more printed circuit boards ready to go. So I just need to go ahead and make up my storage cells. So I need four and what else? Redstone. I should be good to make that. I don't like you. <laughs> I keep forgetting I need to do this and that. And I need some plastic, which I know I got running around here somewhere. Where's my plastic? There it is. And I got it backwards again. <laughs> Jeez. What? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh I got the wrong thing in there. <laughs> And I had it right! <laughs> Jeez. Alright, there we go. There's our expansion card. And then we just need to go ahead and make our... Little circuit. So I need two more silicon. And running dangerously low on redstone again. So there's our basic processor. And I can't do that yet because, well, I need a little bit more redstone. Alright, so there's the storage cell. Got wood around here somewhere. Gonna make me a chest. Let's just use the jungle. Don't want to use jungle for anything else. Alright, that should... Come on. Come on. What else do we need? Oh, that's right, that's why. Because <laughs> I needed that guy. I should be able to just... Yeah, there we go. So there is our... Crafting terminal, nice, perfect. So now I can start transferring things into the AE system. Now we don't have like a ton of sport uh, storage space. I'll try to get a few more of like, uh, you know, 1K or 4K storage drives up and running between episodes, uh, just because they're a little bit of a pain to craft. Uh, so if we take a look, yeah, I just need to go ahead and uh, craft up more of the expansion cards. That's where it's gonna get a little bit 
problematic. So I need to probably soon, and I'm not saying right now, but maybe a little bit later on, look at getting lightning plant and squid plant seeds kind of like automated in a sense. I think that would probably be a pretty good idea. So I'm going to have to work on that at some point. Now, I do want to start putting items into the network. So what do I need to get an import bus? So we're going to need that. Obviously, we're going to need another... I might be able to do this real quick. Might be able to squeeze like one more out real fast. Let's see as you do you and you. Printed circuit board. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Need the expansion thingy. Jeez, I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> Alright, let's see four of those. And it looks like I'm probably gonna have just enough. Hold on, let's just do it this way real quick. Because I know that way works. Then we just put that there. There's our basic processor. And put that paper away. I don't need that paper right now. Alright, so there's a basic processor. We need sticky piston, so there's a piston. And I should have slime balls out here. Obviously, we can use rubber as well, but, you know, I got some slime balls. So why not? Got another whip of destruction. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we got the sticky piston. Just need, I got the cable, I got the iron, I just need the ME interface, which is easy enough. What do we need for precision? Another one of those? Come on, redstone. Come on, redstone. I need you, redstone. Oh, there we go. Alright, so. The interface, conversion matrix. I, do I have everything? I think I do. Maybe. Crossing my fingers, hoping I do. There we go. Conversion matrix. Then interface. Import bus. It's actually it's actually going pretty smoothly now. <laughs> All right, we need four of those. Let's go ahead and get another processor running. More silicon. All right, so I'm gonna have to kind of let everything run. Let me get uh, some more redstone built up between episodes. But there we go, basic import bus. So now, I can pretty much just hook up this. Let's say for instance, you know, we want to put all. I don't know if I really want to put all this in there right now. But, you know, say for instance, I want to put like. Give me like a good chest. Uh, how about this one? Because of all of our ingots and stuff, would really like to put that in there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's put back here. All right, let's move the chest. How's that sound? And then obviously, you know, I... actually, let's not move it. We'll just for now, let's just break this because I'm gonna set this up a little bit later. But we'll put that there. Put that there. I'll we'll set this to move stacks of items. And there we go. So now we're filling up our drive with all of our ingots. Nice. That's looking good. And then we'll make up with some more import buses later. And I'll put one on the casting table so that way uh, any ingot that's being made from our high oven is automatically sent into our AE network. Nice. So I don't really need that anymore, but I'm going to leave it hooked up for now. That way all the uh, ingots make their way in there. So I'm going to set this sort by number of items. And perfect. All right. I think that's going to do it, though, guys. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm going to clean up a little bit, kind of let things run so I get some more redstone up and running. But finally, I got to AE, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.